and welcome to today's episode of Conspiracy Captain. In this video, we're going to look at the Sinister CERN and how they're doing, you know, laser black hole stuff in their secret underground labs and just, just doing bad things, just being bad guys essentially. We'll get into it. So first off, let's take a look at what CERN actually is. Well, CERN is the European Organization for Nuclear Research. It's located in, where else? Switzerland, the land of watches and Nazi gold. It's where Tim Berners-Lee invented the World Wide Web, so thanks, I guess. And it's also where the Large Hadron Collider is. The Large Hadron Collider? It's where they shoot particles at each other at extremely high speeds to essentially simulate the conditions of the Big Bang. Badass, right? Now, some are scared that using the Large Hadron Collider and essentially creating these crazy conditions, man, could uh, build a portal to a new dimension. Ever see Event Horizon? Hell itself would be upon us. Also, um, aliens, Cthulhu, other things could come out of it. Not good is what I'm saying. To be honest, um, I've kind of had a problem researching this because all of the conspiracy theories about the CERN and the Large Hadron Collider are actually all really vague. Probably because the nutshell, I mean, uh, truthers don't really understand what it is and what it does. Another theory is at CERN they could create a black hole, or a miniature black hole, that could suck the planet into it. Is it a yeah. 1 in 12 probability of us being swallowed up by a black hole or something else? You see, it will take a while. It won't swallow the Earth within months or seconds. It will take at least five years. But still, such, a, uh, such an outlook is something that should be discussed heavily before going ahead. Sounds badass. But it's unfortunately just not possible. Well, for a start, Earth gets bombarded by miniature black holes all the time. And I mean, they can't even suck up a fur. Secondly, if we did create one, it would decay so quickly via Hawking radiation, it would decay quicker than time exists. It would, it just wouldn't exist, essentially. And you know, the Large Hadron Collider, it's actually been running for quite some time, and we're still here. Uh, so I think we're good for now, but um, the reptilians haven't gotten through our defenses yet. But let's stop kidding around. We all know what will really happen at CERN. It's actually really hard to um, flick your fingers with gauntlets on, but it looks badass. Screw that, I'm wearing this for the rest of the video. It's cool, cool as shit. Where was I? Okay, so let's just say we're safe from black holes and things that could actually happen. Let's move past your science fake news. What about things that could actually happen? I mean, you know, Antichrist, um, Hell, you, you know what I mean. Well, I finally found someone who knows the truth. Hi everyone, we're going to go over and take a look at the CERN project here. Where everybody has noticed, like, here when you see the CERN, how this can make a 666 symbol up here. And that many people have shown that this could be like for when a gateway opens for the Antichrist spirit to come through. Well, let's go over here and check out this area. And we're going to show that that is what's going to actually happen. Yeah, who looks stupid now? You should choose your words more carefully. The end of an age is coming. You heard it here for second. Have you seen anything yet? Well, most people don't even know what they're looking for in the end times of the Bible. What's coming is known as the little horn of the Bible. A lot like this guy on the Illuminati box cover for the fifth age. See this clownish figure coming down? He comes to trick the world into doing idol worship, even with Ebola spreading and such, all through here. But that's the Illuminati, it, animal, eye, the beast. He's right here. He's also shown 
even in the last, he's in the, they show it over and over and over again in many different movies. He would be as Khan in the Star Trek movies, or Kane. In the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie that just came out, you see the five at the end for the fifth age. Have you never realized in movies that the bad guy symbolizes the devil? The bad guys in movies are the ultimate bad guys. I never thought about it like that. You see the five at the end for the fifth age. He is Shredder. He's known as the Butcher. And this is shown over and over and over again. Here he is right here. Shredder, the Butcher. Shredder? What? He's right here. And he's going to come through part of the CERN project. It has a lot to do with the Dog Star Sirius. Let's just show this. See this right here? For those who have been following me, we know this right here. Here he is. There he is perfect. First off, just realize that this is every single line right here. See this? Okay, perfect. Now, let's show what this represents. Let's take this off here. You can see that that was there. This is the little horn of the Bible coming, the Antichrist in the book of Revelations and such, in the book of Daniel. This spirit, or the beast, the false prophet, all of those things coming. He's known as the little horn. Look, it's a guy petting a dog. The ultimate evil. He's called the accuser in the Bible. See how he has this finger? This finger can do things. It, it, it messes people up. Oh, that finger can do things all right. Jesus goes and sits on top. This guy is the left hand, the accuser. See his finger like a magic wand? He comes down and he, that's what he is. He's the accuser. He accuses everyone. He's going to go through Obama and through this door and nuke a big part of the USA and then end up in a popish figure or Prince William and with ten nations, they all come together riding this red bull, the red horse of the apocalypse. And they give out this new Eucharist and they do the mark of the beast. An awful lot like this movie that was out here where they were trying to get this new substance um, to change mankind. It's the same story that was in the Transformers movie, where the world elite, the CIA, and the bad robots... It is real. My map showing arbitrary roads and things I've colored in using Microsoft Paint. Show it. Undeniable. Shredders coming through the large Hadron Collider from another dimension. Will you be the hero in a half shell to stop him? And look, them boys over at Reddit, they know the truth. You know how I know? Because this guy said, CERN doesn't sit well with me at all. Mm. And these other posts which talk about gateways and biblical stuff. Preach. They also have a statue at CERN which is clearly devil worshipy. Look upon this nightmare and despair, this statue of the Hindu god Shiva, which was presented as a gift from India. CERN doesn't really do itself any favors either, because they're devil worshippers, baby. You may have seen this terrifying video of a ritual sacrifice at CERN. <laughs> what the fuck? What the? Fuck! Shit! <gasps> As we say in the conspiracy, got him. This totally real and not fake video at all did the rounds of YouTube clickbait videos and clickbait articles across the world. And unfortunately, no one was killed. Yeah, it was a hoax. Showing several people dressed in black cloaks surrounding a statue of the Hindu deity Shiva and apparently stabbing a woman in a mock human sacrifice. Yeah, so the scientists and people who worked at CERN, they've heard of your shitty conspiracy theories and they decided to have a little fun with it. There really is nothing to do in Switzerland. I mean, the biggest damage? CERN has done to humanity is this awesome music video. You say you love me, but you never beat me. You always promise.
promise, but you never date me. I try to fax, but it's busy always. I try to network, but you crash the gateways. You never spend your nights with me. You don't go out with other girls either. You only love your collider. One fear was that the universe would undergo total existence failure, which people in the know have said is infinitely improbable, which is a nice sciencey way of saying shut up, you're an idiot. According to one esteemed Walter W. Wagner, a high school teacher from Hawaii, the Large Hadron Collider had a 50% chance of destroying the world. Either it would or it wouldn't. That's like saying I have a 50-50 chance of becoming Scarlett Johansson's next boyfriend. Either I will or I won't. I like those odds. Some believe the Large Hadron Collider opened temporal rifts or wormholes between alternate universes, with people beginning to randomly slide between timelines and experience the Mandela Effect, when something that used to be true in their old universe isn't true anymore in this one. I'll be covering the Mandela Effect soon. There's not really much analysis I can do. Um, conspiracy theories kind of speak for themselves. The Large Hadron Collider at CERN, it's conducting experiments for the advancement of human knowledge. How the universe was created, how it works, and just for, you know, general... The advancement of human civilization and knowledge about our universe. Is that not reason enough? It's pretty good reason, if you ask me. Thanks for watching. Mike, out.